Hello, my name is Dominic Under Hall House, and welcome to another episode of Moonbreaker. Today, we are back on the experimental server. Honestly, I can't see myself going back to the live one until these changes uh, you know, come into fruition. fruition? Uh, if we get like the instant activations, that's absolutely something I really want to bring to the live version. I, I don't really want to go back to playing <laughs> the delayed one, which is a bizarre thing to say because I love Moonbreaker, but honestly, I'm having too much fun with this. So, what I've done today is I've built a list. And I've sort of taken inspiration from the game I played with Grissy the other day in the other video. And I wanted to take some of those things and also put together a sort of an AoE synergy-ish list. So, what have we got in the list itself? So, Gardner Joe, I haven't really played much with. And it's starting to seem a lot more powerful than I initially thought, which is awesome. Very, very happy with that as well. So, we've got Give Nourish to units in range, which is obviously going to gain plus one max health, removed it when it takes damage. We've got create thorn vines up to a maximum of three, and units in an area get plus two speed at the start of our next turn. So, pretty good abilities all round. What we're going to be using is the thorn vines, their ability to deal damage. We're going to be using just off that board control. You can basically plant one down for one, and it immediately damages anything it touches in an AoE, which is pretty nice. So, interesting ability on there. Now, to sort of back that up, we've got Fixer in as a sort of an early one drop. We've got Deadeye and Teutonia, so a bit of AoE here, a bit of consistency here, so that's a reasonable start. We've got Beatrice for a bit of AoE as well. And then the reason sort of this comes into play is when we've got things like Flurry and Noxie. So, both of these are resilient units, so they're not going to take too much damage at once. Uh, Noxie is something that I've seen used with uh, Gardner Joe by Grissy. So you just deploy Noxie next to the Thornvine or Thornvine next to Noxie. You immediately create a Toxoid, and then the Toxoid gets to act, and then Noxie gets to act, so it can potentially just kill something immediately. If you're running Noxie, you might as well run an actual Toxoid as well, because Toxoid into placing a plant on someone just instantly kills it, which is amazing value. And then to synergize with this, we've gone for Flurry as well, because we can actually do some big AoE damage with this. So whenever it takes damage, deal 3 damage to all units in range. So the ways we've got to trigger this, we've got the Thorn Vines, we've got Beatrice triggers, we've got Axel Pyro, who we haven't mentioned yet, but also does AoE here as well, we've got Shrapnel to do AoE, and we've got Detonia. And then to finish it off, we just went for Aria for a little bit of value here. So all in all, it's a really good synergy list, I think. It looks like it has a lot of you know, potential sort of burst damage fixes here just as a value unit. Getting that infused can be really nice when we've got things like Detonia we want to be doing every turn, I could see a world where you want to be doing Axel Pyro, Detonia, Aria, and using Gardner Joe quite often. So, Fixer just seems pretty reasonable to me. And honestly, I think it looks like a lot of fun. So, I'm going to give it a go, jump into a game, see what we can do. And hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy this as much as I think I'm going to. If you are enjoying it, please do like, comment, subscribe, join us over on Patreon in the description down below. Anything you can do to help us out is much appreciated. But for now, I'll see you in game. Okay, we have found ourselves a game. Simpara has been kind enough to join us, and we are going to hopefully have a bit of fun with this uh, Gardener Joe list and see what we can work out. So, I've not done as much Gardener Joe as I'd like. I've not spent as much time doing it as I probably should have done. So, I'm going to be intrigued to see how this sort of plays out. You know, like, am I going to be any good for one thing? The answer is probably not. Simpara is a pretty good player. But does the list work? Does the synergy work? Can we get the AoEs going? Can we get Flurry to do something? The one thing I will say about this screen here, I know they darken the tone of the maps in general to make the characters stand out, but on that one it looks like the characters are darker, and I think it looked better before when they were a bit brighter, but maybe that's just to make painting coherent with the uh, with the colour scheme sort of thing. Okay, so we can't quite get there. We can deploy Fixer down, and I think that's probably exactly what we do. I mean, here's the thing. We can play Fixer, or we can use Fixer's ability. Uh, I actually think we probably want to use the ability this turn and just save the Thorn Bones for later. So, you out to yourself. Take a pot shot over there. And just hide back here slightly. Seems good to me. So we want to make sure these are taken out, because honestly, I don't play very well around them. I'm really pretty bad at using them, so dealing with that makes sense to me. So what's their first opponent going to be? Antios. Okay, so Antios can get safe, but we have got Detonia coming next turn, and we can start placing plants. And there's the Fixer on that side as well. Fixer seems to be a bit of a staple at the moment, which is quite interesting. So, 
so we can get line of sight onto Antios actually, which is nice. So we've got 78%. I mean, that's pretty reasonable. We'll take that. We'll move forward. And maybe we can even plant a thorn vine there. Ah, thorn vine's much, much shorter range. So, do we have any three attack here? Deadlines two, Zetonia's two. I mean, Beatrice does a good job. But won't get in range. I think it's just Detonia here. So put Detonia in the safe space. Explosions are upon Let her try and get two, but yeah, we're only really going to get one here. Enjoy. Toasted new world and we'll style. plant ourselves a thorn vine, maybe just down here, make it hard for them to get to. Because uh, that's going to hurt us, though. Just plant it there. Uh, Detonia's fine where she is get that little buff going. So that's even the points out, but we can start looking over here. To fix it, we should probably be able to deal with this turn. They say so Fixer's only got four health, we're going to have Axel Pyro available and potentially something else. Maybe we could even like Axel Detonia or... T oh wow, that's actually further than I thought. I didn't check this. I thought these still had these little spikes out, so that's probably my fault for uh, not paying attention there. Yeah, so this is a really easy activation here. You're just going to get a load of damage and then potentially just deploy and kill our Detonia, which is a bit of a fault on my point there. For instance, if they have Detonia here, if Sipara's got it, then they just kill us. If they've got something ranged with a decent range, they just kill us. Uh, oh, is that it? They're saving resources. Okay. So interestingly here... This could be a situation where we want to do something a bit different. What do you so, need? I think we just take this shot. I could use this massive glob and of instead. course we missed that. Um, okay. Fine. Well, I think we just poke these then. That miss was very frustrating. We'll hide back here. Gonna move over this route. Uh, Detonia needs to move away as well. And then for our deployment, I think if we pop Axel Pyro down here, we get the flamer done in this direction. Move on to the objective and plant a thorn vine in the way. Okay, so this feels good. We are on track to do well in points. We're healing slowly. We're on two control points. They're only on one. This is guaranteed to die next turn. I think we're controlling the board fairly well. So it's whether we can deal with Exterior, basically, before we win on points. Because I think at the moment we're playing the points game. They're probably having to turn them to the kill us game. And I don't think Fixer's going to do enough for them here. Our fixer is just an inconvenience at best, but they can probably take this out, and so we need to be aware of how we can deal with that next turn. These buffs are going fairly well. This could be a greater thorn vine next turn if it needed to be. <clears throat> yeah, so we're still deploying outside of units as well. So what's this going to be? I mean, this feels like a, a Beatrice or... Oh, a Sentinel. Okay, well this could utterly annihilate us. Yeah, I mean, that's going to kill two, nearly three units. So how do we deal with that? That's a good question. This could be where we start doing Flurry. Flurry could be really fun here. So I think that might be what we have to try and do. And just try and go for a big Flurry turn. So if we deploy... Oh, we can't do Flurry yet. Return short Flurry. So we're actually in trouble. Just having a bit of fun. So, what do we have? Aria, Shrapnel, Toxoid. Toxoid doesn't do anything here. I mean, this is a very easy flavour. Because we just need to deal damage. I think we just take that shot. And probably just move back to, like, here to contest that point. So we're as far away from Exterior as possible. Um... So how do we want to move? 
So if we move, in fact, if we move that this way, us down here. What do we even need to deploy here? It could even be like a Beatrice or something. Beatrice here works because then it's harder for them to get a good angle on everything. Ready for swift action. I guess we're just doing this. Yep, this is all fine. And then Dead Eye going. Where can we get Dead Eye now? Not really anywhere for Dead Eye unless we go over here. Let's do Dead Eye over here. Plant another Thorn Vine last second because I panicked. I should have maybe fertilized there, that could have been better. So. Oh, interesting. Oh, these are two damage. Of course they are. I thought they were one damage for some reason. So this gives them awkward angles to try and get to with the Sentinel. This can be a problem. Yeah, so Crankbait is going to be useful here. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure how we deal with that point. I think we have to just start looking going over there. So this might be, a, even though we want to play Flurry or Noxy, this could actually be Arya that wants to do it, just to take that point. So they take that point away from us. We can take it back and start chipping away at their units. Uh, they don't have enough to use the Sentinel now, which is good for us. So the Sentinel's going to take a few chip points here and there. Roast your rations for you. Feeling fine. Might as well just chip away here. I actually think what we want to do now is just run... Have I blocked myself in over there? I really have, haven't I? So what if I just... I don't know what to do, basically. That's what I'm trying to get at. We could... I could have flurried, actually. That would have been a good turn to flurry. So what if we aria just about here? Good stillness and take our shot here, I guess. Take this shot as well. And their movement again is pretty good for that, so we just run over here. We don't have any one drops, but what abilities do we have to use? So we've got a couple of thorn vines there. Lovely day for a cookout. So in fact, we can just move ourselves, say down here I think is safest. We axle in and oh yeah of course that hurts us. Um oh oops yep yeah, we'll just pass that and fertilize soil fertilize soil nope didn't get that in time again we're leaving them options it's not what what we really want to be doing but it's just making things difficult this could be them dealing with Arya it looks like yeah Arya's gonna get killed by their Ah, interesting, they're going to take the point as well, which is good for them. So, given the fact that we've got our uh, thingy, I forgot his name, I think, uh, Flurry coming, we can potentially do a lot over here if we can get things in range. So Axel coming this way may have been a mistake, but they can't now activate the Sentinel, which is good, because this is going to be a spin, if anything, and then they're going to actually hit their own uh, crankbait. Evil doers will lose. Yeah. Oh, okay, that yeah, that here works. Toner. Okay. Toner's back. So this could be our our big turn for Flurry if we could get close enough. But I'm not convinced we can. So what if we come over here? So, place Flurry here. We've gone a little bit further for a vine, so let's go with this. Pop some damage down there. You are lead up uh, we can just do a hit here. Get another spin around. We can just take that out. Oh my god, these misses are disgusting. Uh, we will, I guess, shoot that again because we can't get anywhere near enough to shoot it, which is very frustrating. 
but we'll just keep on moving this way split up a little we'll fertilize soil on this lot Beatrice is fine there just gonna hide back here for this point that's all we need to do here. So we're actually going to potentially lose here because this didn't go to plan. This is nearly done. That's fine. But the fact that we missed that is absolutely gross in 91%. Yep, we're going to lose. All they have to do is kill one thing. And they've got it. Oh, Simpara has taken us out. Again, that that being dead changes that entire game. And we'd have, uh, I think we'd have had that. Oh, that was brutal. Because not only do we lose that uh, that one point for doing it, we also gave the ability to kill ours. So essentially, that was like two to three points of value there, just because we didn't use that ability. Oh, absolutely brutal! All right, I'm going to try again for one more. Uh, if Simpar is up for playing another one, see if we can do any better. But that was a good game. Like I'm really enjoying this uh, this format and seeing if uh, you know, seeing if we can figure out how it goes. Yeah, just send them a message just in case they are up for playing one more game I think all in all it was reasonable for our first ever game it was a uh, first ever like real PvP game with Gar <coughs> excuse me Gardner Joe but it wasn't the best showing you know they played better than us we made some mistakes we should have used the accuracy just to not take any risks and honestly I think it was well played by Simpara. They made really good use out of uh, the damage coming out of Extilio. And they just picked us apart as and when they needed to. And frankly, it was really, really good. I enjoyed it. So we're going to go into another game now. Hopefully we're going to be able to play the same sort of thing and try and do it a little bit differently and see if we can have a different experience going the other way. So. I'm trying to think of what I could have done differently. I, I definitely misplayed with uh, Detonia. I left her in range of that Antios at the beginning, so that's something I should make sure I try not to do in the future. Uh, that last misplay was a big one. It probably was the single biggest thing to you know, to going towards costing me the game. I don't know if it actually cost me the game, but it's close. Oh, we got one of the test scenarios. Okay. Scenario, scenario. This is a weird map. It doesn't feel very large, does it? So we're just going to pop up here, pop, fix it down, we can't get onto a point it looks like, so what covers it? Low visibility, so I feel fairly safe playing this and just moving up to here. Put a favour on ourselves, calling that a day. It's unlikely they're going to be able to get a good line of sight onto us here at all. These low visibility little mushroom patches. Like, they definitely, you can tell there's like some Nordic influences here. I love it. Okay, so that's their fixer. Defense first. And shoot. Oh, is that fixer? Or was that. It was Deadeye, okay. So the question here is do we actually just run in with something different? Because we can just take a pot shot if we want to. But again, that's only 30%. So I think maybe we actually just hide back here, just touch in there, deploy our dead eye over here. Yeah, over here seems reasonable. And tuck in behind this big old cannon-looking thing. Uh, we will plant ourselves a thorn line up here, and for next turn we're going to want additional movement on. Probably just on Dead Eye. Uh, was there a range shot we could realistically take? No. So we'd send that to. This little health boost is really nice, but yeah, so they're gonna have to use their active ability there to get that attack angle. Because otherwise it's just nothing gonna hit. Come on, fellas. Which leads me to thinking it's probably our Axel Pyro turn. Yeah, okay, so they didn't use it, they just went for the pot shot. Without damaging our thorn vine, that's going to be really good for us because we can just start turning into burn mode. Broken vengeance, sure. Keep your okay, so he's going to go for fixer. Yeah, that's fine. We don't really care too much about that. So 
So now we just want to be pushing damage, I think. Again, we do need to ozos here. Skip this, grab a pint. So if we move back here, we can get like an 81 shot there. Just bring these all. Uh, we can play Axel Pyro. So we'll move up first, because we're not worried about damage right now. We'll play Axel Pyro, say, here. Use Axel to flame that and get a little bit safer again. Uh, we will plant a thorn vine down. What do you need? Uh, and we will call favour on. I suppose Deno. Uh, Axel can probably just move a little Broke further back. There we go. Oh, we haven't used this attack yet. There we go. So we're going to push Captain damage right now, and the fact that we've we missed that. I am in control. Come on. So we've put ourselves in a position where it's going to be a lot easier for us to damage their captain than their Mars, because theirs is a melee captain, ours is a weird utility captain. And I think next turn, the fact that we can bring up shrapnel, or we could just go for. I'm tempted by going Arya over here. But if we bring out Shrapnel, we can just start getting a really big setup for the Flurry. Miss. Yeah, there we go. We got our misses last time. They can miss this time. It's fine. So, where are they going to go? This is quite an important turn, because if they go aggressively, we just turn full on the captain. Whereas if they go defensively, we push on units. But we're actually heading both metrics right now. I almost feel like Exterior might have to go and hide, which would be so good for us. Uh, what's this going to be? So they've got a three drop to come. Again, a shrapnel coming into this situation could be awesome. Because it's just... I mean, even getting over here actually could just be additional value, even if we're taking the shot back from Broken Vengeance. If we can get a shrapnel coming up here and doing value and then saving it for next turn for the flurry turn, then that's great. Ooh, crosshair. Okay. I mean, sure. Take the hit. The miss as well. Okay. Nice big hit there. So the question is, how well does Shrapnel come out of this now? Interesting, we're going to have to move first to get Shrapnel somewhere decent. So I think that's what we're going to do. Play Shrapnel down over here. Try and get a good angle on all three of them. Let's shorten the list. Crossing them out. Just push up a little bit of impact in. We we'll take a bit back, but it's fine if we do. Can you hold this for me? Uh, so that's only 48%. Axel will be 100, so we obviously need to just do that. Have we really not got an angle where we don't hit our captain? Wonderful. Um, sure, we'll hit the captain. Beats being in a lab, huh? Uh, fixer could come up close. Not fixer. Um, let's just go for this. Ozo Sarcel. Come back here and go for this shot. We plant our thorn vine in just here to block things and fertilize soil up there. Or miss. I swear that clock is not going the same. Okay, so we're doing well on the damage race. They've got a threat to deal with in their front lines. We're pushing through. Like, these thorn vines are so difficult to deal with. And then next turn, we can actually do our flurry thing. So we can play flurry, we can axle pyro, we can potentially shrapnel. We've got so much burn coming in next turn. And like they can obviously move in here, spin, and just kill a couple of things. But these are the things we're not as fussed about. It's a thorn vine and it's a fixer. Like sure. If that's where their focus goes, we can just bring out all the fun with flurry. Okay, that's a good bit of news for us because oh, especially moving away. Run along. Yep, and they can finish off here. There we go. So that works. The question is what they do with exterior here. If they just focus on killing these things, I think we might even have it. 
Yeah, and are you going to move to kill the thorn vine? Because if you do, you take a damage. Okay, so this is the fixer turn without a doubt. It has to be. We will hold them off. Oh, they're going for the play around it. Interesting. No, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, shooting axe was correct here. So this is definitely where we want to go. And we definitely want to be deploying Flurry. Uh, yeah, this... I'm trying to figure out why that's taking damage, because Broken Vengeance takes this, hits Flurry. Oh, right, what's going on there? He shoots us. Okay. Yeah, so we move in here. We plant the thorn line down. Which deals damage. We spin. Then we move here. We flame her. Which deals damage. And we spin. Uh, we attack here and we win. They hit us, we hit back. We still hit our captain, we hit them for more. There we go! We got the combos! We nearly died ourselves because I nearly put us in a terrible, terrible position. But it worked, we're fine, we lived. Those are some really good games. So, 1-1 one, one again. Unfortunately, I don't have time to record a third. But that was a really cool game. I think this really does have some potential. Like, I was obviously outplayed the first game. They played better than me. I cannot argue that whatsoever. But this seems okay. I kind of like it. We didn't use Noxie at all, actually. Uh, anyone else? We didn't use Noxie or Toxoid. Both of which could have been useful, I imagine. But And then they had a really good set of value units here. Those are some great games. So I want to say thank you hugely to Simpara. That was really, really fun. I really enjoyed that. Thank you to anyone else who's watching. I really appreciate that. Oh, wow, loads of stuff. But if you enjoyed it, please do like, comment, subscribe, join us on Patreon. Anything you can do to help us out is really appreciated. But for now, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.